So these are just general tips for recording. Remain quiet if you are sort of facilitating a discussion unless you're talking. That's because of the limitation that we're only gonna get one audio file. The ideal way to do it would be if you could book Press Play when the campus is up and running. Um, Press Play have a podcasting setup where you can record four different people at the same time and that will give you a separate audio file for each person. But the options that we've sort of provided you with that can only provide one file. That's as sort of essential to, you know, try to give guests a bit of a introduction about uh, how the sort of discussion will go. As a facilitator, you might want to think about how do you encourage guests not to speak over each other, which might be a bit difficult because maybe you do want a bit of a robust discussion and you do kind of want a bit of that, you know, naturalness that comes out of having a conversation but just because of the limitations that we have with the technology just try try to get them not to speak over each other what you want to do as well is just test um, the call individually with each subject prior to say, saying having a, a group discussion this is because when you call someone and you know you can test the technology and sort of suss out any issues they have with technology prior to the call um, because you don't want four people on the line and then having to um, just help one person sort of turn on their microphone. So I would just recommend calling them beforehand, making sure everything works and then, you know, things will go wrong. <laughs> but at least you've had that um, sort of, you, you've had that bit of a um, discussion beforehand so that they know what to do if things go wrong. And also, if you are working in a group setting, try to test the platforms out amongst each other before going ahead and, and trying it with guests. This is because you sort of want to know the limitations of the software or platform or whatever you're using prior to sort of getting guests in and because then it come, becomes that you're sort of wasting their time when you could have potentially um, saved a bit of time by, you know, knowing the software in and out by testing it out amongst yourselves. And the other tip I'll give is um, trying to send um, the subjects a bit of a document explaining the process so that could be you can even copy and paste stuff from this um, presentation if you'd like just to sort of give them a bit of um, you know you can sort of give them a bit of information about what to expect from you know this process a bit of what you're going to talk about and then you know trying to anticipate any technical issues that will happen and how to resolve it so <laughs> from experience there will be technical issues there will be things that go wrong I would just recommend testing it out so you know what to do if things go wrong and then sort of try to work through them before you end up doing that call because you don't want to end up sort of wasting everyone's time. 